The imperial crown jewels of Iran include several elaborate crowns and decorative thrones, 30 tiaras, and numerous aigrettes, a dozen bejeweled swords and shields, a vast number of unset precious gems, numerous plates and other dining services cast in precious metals and encrusted with gems, and several other more unusual items collected by the Iranian monarchy from the 16th century on. The collection is housed at the Treasury of National Jewels but is known colloquially as the Jewelry Museum. It is situated inside the Central Bank of the Islamic Republic of Iran on Tehran's Ferdasi Avenue. The Imperial Crown Jewels of Iran are the largest set of displayed jewels in the world and state ownership in one location. The museum is open to the public from 14.00 to 16.30 hours except on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. The museum has on-site guides with knowledge of Persian, English, French and Russian languages. There are also guide booklets available in English, Persian, French, Russian, German, Japanese and Arabic. Safavid and Afsharid conquests, the majority of the items now in the collection were acquired by the Safavid dynasty, which ruled Iran from 1502 to 1736 AD. Afghans invaded Iran in 1719 and sacked the then capital of Isfahan and took the Iranian crown jewels as plunder. By 1729, however, after an internal struggle of nearly a decade, Nader Shah Afshar successfully drove the Afghans from Iran. In 1738, the Shah launched his own campaign against the Afghan homeland. After taking and raiding the cities of Kandahar and Kabul as well as several principalities in northern India, and sacking Delhi, the victorious Nader Shah returned to Iran with what remained of the plundered crown jewels as well as several other precious objects now found in the Iranian treasury. These included several heavily jeweled encrusted thrones and numerous diamonds, emeralds, rubies, sapphires, and other precious gemstones. Four of the most prominent acquisitions from this conquest were the Koinor and Darayinor diamonds, the peacock throne, and the Sumerian spinel. Modern usage, the crown jewels were last used by the Pahlavi dynasty, the last to rule Iran. The splendor of the collection came to the attention of the Western world largely through their use by Muhammad Reza Pahlavi and his Shah Banu Farah Pahlavi during official ceremonies and state visits. The Iranian crown jewels are considered so valuable that they're still used as a reserve to back Iranian currency. In 1937, during the reign of Reza Shah Pahlavi, ownership of the imperial treasury was transferred to the state. The jewels were placed in the vaults of the National Bank of Iran, where they were used as collateral to strengthen the financial power of the institution and to back the national monetary system. This important economic role is perhaps one reason why these jewels, undeniable symbols of Iran's monarchic past, have been retained by the current Islamic Republic citation needed. Public display because of their great value and economic significance, the Iranian crown jewels were for centuries kept far from public view in the vaults of the imperial treasury. However, as the first Pahlavi Shah had transferred ownership of the crown jewels to the state, his son, Muhammad Reza Pahlavi, decreed that the most spectacular of the jewels should be put on public display at the Central Bank of Iran. When the Iranian Revolution toppled the Pahlavi dynasty in 1979, it was feared that in the chaos the Iranian crown jewels had been stolen or sold by the revolutionaries. Although in fact some smaller items were stolen and smuggled across Iran's borders, the bulk of the collection remained intact. This became evident when the revolutionary government under the presidency of Hashimi Rezanjani reopened the permanent exhibition of the Iranian crown jewels to the public in the 1990s. They remain on public display. The Imperial Collection other items, Princess Ashraf Ruby Tiara, Empress Farah Emerald Tiara, the Sword of Fath Ali Shah Qajar, the Great Globe, the Sun Throne, the Royal Mace of Iran, Sword of Nader Shah, Shield of Nader Shah, see also. Media related to Crown Jewels of Iran at Wikimedia Commons, Crown Jewels, National Museum of Iran, Saltman, Culture of Iran, History of Iran, Tourism in Iran, Geography of Iran. International Rankings of Iran, Category, Crown Jewels of Iran, References Maleka, A. The Mystery of the Nuralayan Diamond, in, Gems and Jewelry, 
The Gemological Association of Great Britain Vol. 23, No. 6, July 2014, PPA 20 Euro 22. Mean, V.B. Tushingham, A.D. Crown Jewels of Iran, Toronto 1968. External links, Treasury of National Jewels, Amazing Iran, Iran Crown Jewels with Photos, Imperial Iran of the Pahlavi Dynasty, The Imperial Jewels of Iran, Treasury of National Jewels of Iran, Sarah Mashayek, The Breathtaking Jewelry Museum of Iran, Rosenny Magazine, January Euro February 2006, Crown Jewels of Iran, Book.